Hey guys, Anthony here with a demo and walkthrough on Smart Mockups, a web-based app with which you can create professional product mockups. You can check the Smart Mockups review video to learn more about it. But in this video, I'll walk you through the user interface. When you first log into your Smart Mockups account, you will see this welcome page. You can click this Browse All Mockups button to check all the mockups, and we'll get to this in a moment. As you scroll down, you'll find information to get you started, as well as a quick peek into different mockups that you can expect to find in Smart Mockups, and a brief look into some of the key features. Let's scroll back up, and I'll click this Browse All Mockups button. On this page, you'll see all the latest mockups organized into various categories, as you can see. Up at the top, you'll find various menu items. We are currently in the All Mockups section. Let's start with the technology menu item. If you hover your mouse over a menu item, you'll see all these subcategories. So for example, I can click on the laptop subcategory and it will display all the laptop mockups. In many cases, you'll need to use these navigation links to see the rest of the mockups in a specific subcategory. If I scroll back up, you'll also notice these preset filters. For example, I can click on this Windows link to display only the Windows laptop mockups in this subcategory. Going back to the main menu items, similarly, if I hover my mouse over the print menu item, it'll display all the subcategories, and the same goes for the other menu items, as you can see. Under the custom menu item, you can design your own custom mockups. This is a really useful feature, and I'll be creating a separate tutorial on how to create custom mockups. Let me go back to the main All Mockups page. You can also use the search box if you're looking for a specific mockup. For example, I can search for iPhone, and it'll display all the iPhone mockups. If you like a specific mockup, you can hover your mouse over it and click on the Add to Favorites button. And all the favorites are saved under this favorites folder. In this left side panel, you'll find filter links that you can use to filter specific mockups. For example, you can click on this multiple devices and it will display the respective mockup templates. When you see this little yellow lock icon on a specific mockup, it means that it's a premium mockup. To create a mockup, you click on it and it will open the mockup editor. Now, I won't get into all the details on how to create a mockup because I'll be creating separate tutorials. But in this right side section is where you upload your images and videos and customize your mockups. So that's pretty much it. You can check the description section to try smart mockups for free. Hope you found the smart mockups overview helpful. You can check this video to learn more about smart mockups and how to use it. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.